Don't we all have a work email overload problem, especially on Outlook? I know of a lot of colleagues who check their phone in the morning, delete 50 to 60 emails while they're still in bed, swiping on their phone to clear their inbox, and then drive to work only to find that at 8 a.m. there's 20 more junk emails in their inbox. At this point, many are ready to give up on their productivity for the day, and the day hasn't even begun. Follow along as I teach you nine best under the hood settings so you can get the right things done in your inbox. Timestamps are in the description below, so feel free to jump around to a different section if you'd like. Now, the psychology of workflow efficiency is deeply rooted in the GTD methodology. I will link to my six minute GTD video at the end of this video, but for the purposes of this video, we will hone down on the two minute rule. Now, the two minute rule essentially means that if you see a task that takes less than two minutes to complete, you should do it now, like right now, because it can take more time to add the task to your to-do list or your calendar. To avoid your calendar getting too full, remember prevention is better than cure. So try hard not to add small tasks on your calendar. Now let's configure Outlook 365. I recommend you use the Google Chrome browser for this and fix the server settings as many of these are not available on the Outlook app for Mac. Now first, let's turn off notifications so we can avoid getting distracted by these annoying sounds and move from a reactive to a more focused state. Now find the gear settings icon in the top right hand corner, click that, next click view all Outlook settings, and then go to general, then notifications, and uncheck the box next to play a sound when a message arrives. Notifications are now off, your ecosystem won't shake anymore when new emails arrive. Now let's customize actions. Under settings, go to mail, then customize actions, and now under quick actions, I want you to check delete, pin, flag, and move to a folder boxes. These action items will now show next to emails in your inbox as you hover over a single item. Pin action will put an important email above your inbox so you can see these easily. I flag emails for actionable but not emergent items in my inbox. Next, in the same window, I want you to move down to the message surface and check reply, reply all, forward, delete, flag, print, and the like buttons. Finally, let's set up some global actions. Find the three dots at the top and go to customize and select move to, block sender, archive, create rule, junk, snooze, and sweep. Remember to save these changes. If there is a sender that is filling up your inbox, you can easily block them by right clicking on the email and clicking block sender, which you will find under security options. The snooze feature keeps your inbox under control. For example, when I get a list of patients to prepare for a tumor board conference, I snooze the email to the most up-to-date version of the list to 8 a.m. the morning of the conference. This brings it to the top of my inbox on the day of the conference at 8 a.m. and my inbox remains small. Sweep is another not well-known feature. For example, if I find there are multiple emails from the Japanese Journal of Gastroenterology and Hepatology that are not relevant to my practice, I can sweep those emails and by selecting the second option, Outlook learns to move multiple emails from this sender from my current inbox and all future messages to my deleted items so the sender goes directly to trash in the future. Creating rules is an advanced feature. You can find rules under settings in the mail section. When you add a new rule, you can set it up from a sender, from certain words in the subject, or even the body of the message. If a journal tells me that they are an open access journal, the rule takes the email straight to trash. I don't even see it. Just this trick saves me at least 30 emails a day. I use this to send emails from a particular sender to their folder if they've been sitting in my inbox for more than 10 days. I suggest you think a bit about how you're using automatic replies. Is it necessary? Are you managing expectations? Are you using it carefully? Consider saying you're unavailable instead of away. How much of your contact information are you giving away, including in your signature? Avoid having too much personal information in there. And finally, consider sending auto replies to just within your organization. Here's how to set it up. Automatic replies are in the mail tab under setting. Send later is a small trick I used to send emails at a pre-decided time in the future. You will find this feature in the down arrowhead next to the reply button. Undo send gives you a little extra time to proofread and fix embarrassing typos, which we all find as soon as the email is sent out. 
I recommend setting a delay of three seconds when sending an email out. Now, many of us have multiple calendars. I really like adding my clinical schedule on my calendar. Most scheduling softwares are able to create a link for your schedule and you can add it as a separate calendar on Outlook. So here's what we've learned so far. These nine settings will help you indulge in deep work, which is a rarity in today's distracted world. I call these my stealthy ninja skills. This is the first video in a series of video I'm calling the email game. Other videos will be on Inbox Zero, my favorite email tech tools, Gmail shortcuts, and free voice dictation tools. If you haven't started your productivity journey yet or are trying to up your productivity game, start by learning about GTD methodology in just six minutes, or if you're an advanced learner, take a deep dive in my productivity playlist. You'll find skills and techniques to add valuable hours to your day so you can focus on the things that add meaning to your life. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.